Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a usual Saturday. <laughs> no makeup, no lashes, no nothing, y'all. Like, I do a pretty good cleansing of my face on Friday night. And you guys know that I wear my lashes all week on Saturday, on, um, all week. So Saturday is kind of like my rest day. Like Sunday evening or so, I'll get up and put my lashes back on. Or if I go to church, I'll put them on Sunday morning and just get ready for my week all over again. But I usually on Saturdays, unless I'm going somewhere or doing something, give my face like a rest day from all the makeup and everything like that. So here I am in the flesh. <laughs> Nothing. I probably look a lot younger without makeup on, but back to the video. So I saw the new Lay's Kettle Cooked Garden Tomato Asiago Chips in, um, Dollar General. Lord, I almost forgot. Because, you know, Subway usually is the first ones here to get the new chips to try. But I was in Dollar General, and they had this one. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. And then I'm sitting here watching Men in Black 3. And I actually have some pasta that I made with tuna. And instead of crackers, I'm going to eat these chips with it. Which may be weird, but I'm weird. But I said, you know what? I should do a video and let you guys know how these taste. So once again, Garden Tomato Asiago is these chips. So let's see what they taste like. And then I'll tell y'all if they're really going to go good with this pasta or what they really would go good with. So the kettle chips are just like this. And they're basically like not like your regular chips. Kettle chips are kind of a little bit crunchier and hard, harder. If you don't like really, really, really hard chips, you probably won't like the kettle chips. But I can smell the tomato and the Asiago. Let's see. Mm. Um, they are good I definitely will purchase another bag mm. I'm going to say they taste exactly like you would expect them to taste they taste like tomato they taste like Asiago they taste good they're not nasty or anything like that and in actual reality, you need something with these. So the tuna um, pasta is going to go really good with these. You need something with these. You need a dip. Or they have cheese on the bag, which I know is part of what's in it. But you need something with these. So I'm really glad that I'm going to be eating them with my pasta. Mm -hmm. mm. That's going to be a perfect combination. Because normally I would just get some crackers. And eat my pasta with some crackers. But this is going to be delicious. This this combination here is going to be delicious. This is going to set me off. This and a Pepsi. Your girl going to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try these guys. If you see these in there, I just wanted to come to you and let you know how they taste. You know, sometimes when a new thing comes out, I'll come to you guys and let you know how they taste. But these are really, really good. And if you like pasta or something you can think of eating these with, cheese or anything like that, then you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful snack. A perfect snack, actually. Mm. You know what I just realized? I grabbed these because I was in the store grabbing some other stuff. But I just realized that these things was $1.69 for this little bag. Ain't this the dollar bag or the 75 cent bag? Alright, let me take that back. If I find a big bag of these, I will buy them. I will not pay $1.69 for another small bag of these chips. That I won't do. I just realized that $1.69, maybe it's because these these new limited edition or vote for Lay's or taste the chip. I don't piss myself off. $1.69. Y'all know I must have been distracted in the store when I grabbed them. That's messed up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy these $1.69 chips with my pasta. If y'all see them at a good price, grab them. It's worth the try. They are delicious, though. They are really good. See y'all next time.